Hey everyone, 2498 here with SMC Gaming. Working tirelessly through the night to bring you the new weapons from Patch 10. Something that's a pain in the ass with the inventory system, is even though it accounts for the weight in your equipment slots, you can't put it in your backpack because it treats it like a new pickup and thinks that it would put you overweight. So I've got to empty out some, some inventory here and then we'll be able to switch weapons. That could be a, a detriment in game and uh, trying to switch out weapons really quick to kill another player or some mutants that are coming after you. First one we're going to look at is the Wood Ranger 22. It's a lever action 22 rifle, holds 8 rounds. Right click to aim in, left shift to steady your aim, and it really tightens that, uh, that wobble up. It's kind of nice. You can tell it's 22. It's pretty quiet. Being a lever action, uh, it reloads rounds really quick, and so you can get a lot of a lot of rounds down range, and uh, hopefully kill whatever's coming after you. We're gonna look at the 223 next. It's called the BA70. I assume that's bolt action model 70. It's got iron sights. There's no scopes yet, so if you're hoping for a sniper rifle. You're out of luck. A lot more noise with this round. Larger caliber. It takes more time between shots because it is a bolt action. Now we're going to look at the 357 Magnum. It's a standard, standard six shot revolver. Not a whole lot of sway and wobble to it when you aim in. Not a lot of kick for a 357. And it sounds like they've got a, a clipped out issue with the sound file for the for the gunshot on it. Let's go find some mutants and give these things a try. Something noticed with the weights, both the new rifles weigh 3.5 kilograms, same as the shotgun. Uh, so you're not going to be packing a lot of weapons around in your backpack since you've only got a 30 kilogram weight limit. However, the 357 only weighs 0.75, and the ammunition types for all three weigh 0.25. So it could be a viable option if you're running crafting supplies back and forth or stuff for the generator. Trying to find some mutants here. Usually you find them wandering around here in the streets of Woodhaven. Make sure I got some ammo. There's a awful nice sunrise coming up over Woodhaven. Nice to take a, a second or two and enjoy some of the beautiful scenery that they've created for this game. They did a really nice job with a lot of this stuff. So enough with sightseeing, let's go find some mutants. First weapon we're going to use is the 357 Magnum. I should have four shots left since I only shot two at the sign. Usually you can zone in on their noises that they make and find them pretty easily. There we go. Three shots and he dropped. That fourth one was a empty click and that's never a good sound. Let's go find another one and, and try out the 223. Now something to keep in mind with the 223 is that it only holds five rounds and so you want want a good sidearm for your backup with uh, plenty of ammunition and he glitched out it seems like the uh, mutants are having
some glitching issues with the new patch. I'm sure they're well aware of it. They'll probably get that fixed. It's nothing, nothing too major. There's one moving. We'll shoot him at range and see how it works. You can set him pretty good. That one hit him low. And I didn't lead him enough there. And it looks like my should have been third shot it was, a, it was a dud. Might be a glitch. Might be because hey, it's old ammunition and shit happens. We'll swap over to the 12 gauge real quick. Oh, he caught me. And there we go, put him down. Next we're gonna we're gonna give the twenty two a shot. See how well it does. Oh, there's some of that zombie glitching again. All of a sudden he was several feet away and then in my face. Get ran away. Thankfully, you can lose them pretty easily. Running through buildings, jumping over fences. The mutants in this game really have an issue with getting over and around fences, so it makes for a nice escape. Several shots into him. Nothing. Thank God for the 12 gauge. Get rid of that guy. I'll test it out against some rats here just because they're there and I've got extra ammunition. And it looks like the rats are telling me to go fuck myself and shrugging off the 22 rounds just as easily as the zombies did. So the moral of the story... Go ahead and stick with the 12 gauge for now until I get some things adjusted. Give us a like, give us a follow, and we'll see you guys later.